What is up, everybody? Back at it again. Another Z episode. And as you can see, we're not in the shop today. We're actually at the Dweebs headquarters, a.k.a. editing studio, a.k.a. gaming room. A.k.a. I really need a haircut. Yeah, the quarantine has made us look like animals. But anyways, let's get to what we're doing, guys. Here we are, back at it again, except we're in the home shop. Check the home it out. Shop. We got some stuff. Cool thing. This Danny put this computer together for Justin. We all pitched in, got it for, for him for Christmas or something last yeah. year. Um, so we have a cool initial dweebs hanging yeah. there. But anyway, um, we're working on, we're jumping over some taillights today. Yeah, basically we tried to work on the part two of the stereo system, and we didn't have the stuff that we needed. We bought it, but we couldn't find it. So now we're just going to jump over to the taillights. And we also are working on 3D printing some brackets for the front speakers. Uh, so that's actually going to help us mount the front speakers when we do part two of the episode for the yeah. stereo system you'll see a cool time lapse of justin actually creating the design and then we have it over here actually printing at the moment yes so it's going to take like a long time because 3d printing is really tedious and takes forever but hopefully this version will work out because it's like version like four or something but that's pretty typical as far as 3d yeah. printing goes we got to make like four designs mock it up test it out see what worked see what didn't so yeah it's an eight hour print so you're gonna see it in this video but eight hours from now is yes. when you're actually going to see it. So we're going to cut to the time lapse of making that piece, and then we'll see you in a second. So you see here, we have a bunch of LED stuff. Yeah, yes. LED stuff. So this is our already started uh, part one version that we started, you know, forever ago, and we never got back to, mostly because we're lazy, because we've had all this stuff for a very long time. But it's a very daunting and tedious process, so we're gonna gonna be dealing with that. But yeah, so right here is it's called a breadboard or test board. So we cut this out to the shape of the tail lights. And then we have been inserting the LEDs in the little leads through the holes. And then we're soldering each LED together and then running an ohm resistor um, in between there. And then we have these controllers. This is going to control the dimming for the brake lights. And then we have sequential controllers that are going to control the taillights fucking looking all dope and shit, you know. <laughs> we got this dope ass uh, power supply so we could do all the testing and everything that we need to do. So we're gonna get started on this finally and see what happens. It's gonna be hours and hours of soldering. But well worth it. Yes. We can hope. been hard at work soldering all this putting in the resistors and everything but since the super glue has this weird residue we're going to be switching to shugu and since shugu takes a little bit longer to dry casey cut out the other side and he's right now mocking up where the leds need to go so they're symmetrical side to side and he's going to shugu all these ones in and give it time to dry so by the time we get to that side they'll all be cemented in there and there won't be all this really lame residue and then over here the printer is printing it's actually working this time. Hopefully it doesn't fail like the last four ones, but it's looking pretty good and we're about an hour 40 into it, 13% and we have to print two of these. So that's what's happening right now. So we had to abort that 
print because basically what was happening is the bed was getting so hot. We haven't ran it this hot before because we're printing with uh, ABS. But basically this is what's happening. That it's warping up at the edges and causing it to misprint. So what we did is we went and bought a bunch of these clampy boys and we're going to use the glass bed to prevent that kind of warpage so it can actually print. So fingers crossed guys, hopefully it doesn't keep warping and turning into shit. Well, with our track record, we're probably yeah. going to nail it this time. True. We also got some super glue, some better super glue, like a gel style that's not going to bleed out like that uh, so we can glue all of these lights down that Casey has already placed. So we're making progress. Yeah. So we figured out how to wire this thing correctly. Each group, so there's a group of five, and then it loops into another group of five, group of five, group of five, resistor, resistor. So there's like, basically each individual group is 10 LEDs. And we're creating a positive rail right here and a ground rail right here that we can use the wires and jump the positives and the grounds for each group to, to this. So that's what happened. It's actually turning out really good now and uh, we're gonna test it in a, in a second and show you guys actually what it kind of looks like. But this is definitely gonna be a multiple part series for this thing. It's probably gonna be one or two or three parts to this particular project until we get this done. Yeah. Ready to try it out? Yeah. It's uh, 11.30 at Ooh. night, and this is as far as we've gotten. Uh, it's, the printer over there is doing pretty good. It's the worst, or not the worst, but the shittiest looking PLA we have, and that's what's working the best to print, so. Yeah. It's pretty funny. And then the other panels over there, it just has all the LEDs glued into it. But... Yeah, Casey was working on this. He had us all the LEDs for the strip glued into it so once we're done with this one we'll start wiring on this one and then hopefully we'll have some LED taillights so we can convert the Z to 240 taillights which would be pretty cool here we go all right so we got the positive to the positive rail all right and then we got the negative to the negative rail that we haven't started yet, but that's where it's gonna go. Oh my gosh. All right, so it works. Well, holy crap. So this is gonna be the running light, and then the brake light, if you turn it up to 12 volts, is gonna be that. Ah! So if you look at the printer, it's lighting up the whole wall. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Jeez. Yeah. And then we're gonna have a diffuser that makes this look like a neon strip and not like individual LEDs, so it's actually gonna look really cool. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys, back at it again, day two. This has finished printing. Uh, we actually ended up having to use the PLA because the ABS, we couldn't prevent bed warping no matter what we did and adhesion with the ABS. So we're probably gonna have to get some sort of adhesive spray for the bed so that it stays down. But in the meantime, we just used the, the PLA that we do have, which is this red semi-translucent PLA and it printed amazing. So basically this is what's gonna house the front speaker and it's gonna sit up under the dash. This screws in on the inside of the metal panel on the inside of the car under the dash. And then the speaker will have some self tappers that screw to here onto this outside edge. So it's gonna stick out like this, but um, it's gonna be really stealth and it's gonna be so far up there, it won't be in the way of anything. So we gotta print another one of these before we can go test fit them. And then we're gonna hopefully make the final set out of ABS, but we'll see what happens. We might just spray paint these black and then just put them in there, so. All right, everybody, that's a wrap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Casey can't be here right now because we got so tired the other night that we ended up just going to bed. So he's not here right now, so I have to film this outro alone. But that's the conclusion of the first part of a many part series that has to do with LED converting the 240Z taillights. And then we're gonna have to convert the 280Z chassis to accept the 240Z 
taillights. And that's going to be pretty fun. So uh, the next video that comes out will probably likely be either dash wiring or working on part two of the sound system install video. Thank you guys again for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't done it and smash that like button. It really helps us out and uh, catch you guys next time. Peace.